Hi Kim, here's your uh, custom video showing how we went about or we might go about finding your stuff for the Polichka area. You do need to use Family Search and you will need a login if you don't have one. And here's the steps to browse the records that you need for the filings. Search records. Down at the bottom, browse all published collections. Well, that was a different number earlier in the day, so they've been busy with this. Check records are down a ways, of course. And there are several. I'm not familiar with all of them yet. But the ones we want to use are these Czech Republic church books, 86,000 or so. Again, we're going to need to go down to the bottom. We're going to browse 4 million images. Mm. Now, when I went through the first time, I thought um, your family were Catholic, and so I ended up with the wrong book. But let me just show you how that works with going through. The part that's difficult is you need to know which one of these sub-areas it belongs to. And this is where some of the other folks on the Facebook page can help out in any case it turned out to be Savitavi and then Polichka is a little bit down here. There it is. When I looked at this, okay let me just explain a couple things. If there are a lot of records it's real easy to not realize that they're beyond the screen so make sure you know where the end of the thing is. But in your case, it was 1844 baptism, so it should be, uh, this is an index. If you have these, these are a great thing to look into. Now, of course, they're not perfect. You could, your ancestor could be missing out of it accidentally. But it certainly makes it nice when they are there. You can find them much more quickly. So... This particular volume has 51 records. And with a little bit of thrashing around, I figured out that the Feynman or the F index was on 13. And for 1844, not a Frontashek Feynman to be found. And I asked the question out on Facebook, were they by chance Protestant? Somebody said, yeah, it's a Protestant name. So we'll go back and we'll pick Evangelical. There it is, Spitavi. Tell let's see. Tell let's see. And in this one, the baptisms for 1842, notice the other ones have an index. This one does not. So once in a while you get a book that isn't indexed, or more frequently than not, maybe. And you just have to start looking through it. You could mathematically figure out that this is about 20 years, and you have 200 and some pages. In 20 years, that's 10 years per page. And sure enough, page 33 is where your great-grandfather is listed, or is it great-great? And he is near the bottom. House 171. 
His father is Frank, Franz Feynman. I can't read all of these words, but there's Teletsi, number 171, Manjelski Sin, legitimate son of Václav Feynman. Notice the spelling. Is that a J or is that a G? Hmm. And he's from house number 11, and his wife is Mariana. I can't read her last name for sure. Anderlich, maybe. From probably Sadek number 31. And um, both from something in Polichka. So that was the father. Then on the mothers, Katarzyna, etc. Um, you'll need to get the help of the other members of the group to read this because I cannot exactly translate those words, but once you get them figured out, then it's fairly easy. Let's go back to this one and see if we can find their marriages. Again, it would be somewhere around 1844, maybe a little bit sooner. Oh, obviously sooner. And this book has it. It also has an index. In this case, the index happens to be at the back. And with thrashing around a little, I found it on page 205. We've got two Frontishek Feynmans getting married. 1837-1838. Pages 100 and 107, which is the same book. Now these images are double wides. They had one page number for both left and right. I could try to figure it out, but I'm just going to go to 100 and see how badly off we are. Ninety-six. So I was four off. So I need to add four to that. Mm -hmm. And 100. So there's Frontishek Feynman. And he is from House 103. That does not look like Václav Feynman for being his father. Um, we have to conclude that this is a different family. Now the other one was um, seven pages further on. So that means he was on 111. Hopefully this is ours. And yes, it is. Frontishek Feynman. Number 11, that ties in with his father, Václav, being from there. And the mother is Mariana. This means born. Anderlich at Sadek, number 31. I can't read all of this, as I've said before. But there's a lot of information, a lot of other villages for you to look at. Then here is the bride. And she is from whatever village she is. She's from house number 8. So now you would have a new surname and a new house number to look at. By the way, the house numbers are usually here at the beginning. This theoretically is the bride's house number, but not always. But at least it gives you a village name that you can look at and try to find it. Hopefully this helped you out with um, the rich resources that are available. I think you will be able to work back quite a ways. If we look at this list, look, we can go back to baptisms to 793, 1793. 
Here's one that's got baptisms, marriages, and burials, 1783. So I'm fairly certain that you can get back to those years, which would be, oh, about two or three more generations. Hopefully this helps. Bye-bye.